Oh man, hello world, what is up? Welcome to Build, I'm your host Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Now, before we jump in, uh, just really quick, a thank you to our friends over at Macy's for bringing a little bit of springtime to the build stage. Uh, once again, their annual flower show is happening. Uh, it's happening right now through April 7th in New York, Chicago, and San Francisco. This year's cosmic-inspired theme is the journey to Paradisios. Doesn't that sound exciting? Uh, there's flowers you've never seen before, so go. It is not to be missed. Head to Macy's.com slash flower show for more info, uh, and you will not be disappointed. Now, speaking of not being disappointed, uh, in just a few days. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 2 will drop, and I am telling you right now, you are not ready. Things get crazy dark, crazy sexy. I'm only on like five episodes deep, but I'm sincerely weighing the pros and cons of becoming a Satanist. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, these people have got something figured out. Uh, witches and warlocks notwithstanding, Part two continues to tell some great stories, and it is incredibly watchable because of the talented cast who brings it to life. So imagine my excitement, because joining me here in just a few short moments from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina stars Kieran and Shipka, Ross Lynch, Gavin Leatherwood, Jess and Claire, they're all in the building. How do we feel about that, guys? Are we excited? <laughs> exactly how I feel. Uh, we're going to bring them out in just a second, but first, I believe we have a trailer for part two, so let's go ahead, run that clip. afraid of my powers or I can use them. We've heard reports of levitation, the slaughter of demons, resurrection of witches. How does a first year half mortal student manage that? I feel I must warn you. This is who I am. Sabrina! What is it you want from me? Ladies and gentlemen, make a ridiculous amount of noise. Kieran and Shipka, Ross Lynch, Gavin Leatherwood, Jess and Claire. They're all here right now. Wow. Uh, I, I'm dead serious. Part two cranks everything up to 11. Congratulations. Uh, it looks like it was so much fun to make this show. Uh, I'm really excited to talk to you guys all about it. Thank you for being here. How's everybody doing? Oh God, Excellent. So good. Really good. Dude, it's great. I'm just having a day hanging out with all my friends. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's a little friend date. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely friend date. Well, that's a little exactly. Reunited situation happening right And New York City yeah. rocks, too. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad place to have a friend date. Not at, Absolutely. Not at all. That's pretty awesome. And we're talking about this show that we're a part of. Yeah. yeah. And we love talking about it. Everything's exciting. All these excited fans are here. Oh my God, hello. Hi. 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 It's amazing. It's kind of hard to complain, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But somehow I still find a way. <laughs> We've got time. We'll get to that. What do you mean you don't have almond milk? <laughs> um, don't have oat milk? What? <laughs> every milk but. Uh, those are the ones we forgot. Uh, no, but this is that is really awesome. We were talking about this backstage a little bit. That uh, This is part two of season one, which means you guys, you filmed everything back to back uh, in like one, I think it was like nine month like block that you just did everything. How long ago did that wrap? That was... December 22nd. December, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not long ago. Not that long ago, but long enough to miss each other. Absolutely. For sure. Just enough time. Absolutely. I think it was like a week before I started missing everyone. Oh, you man. Like a whole the, week. Where you I was like, like, I'm ready to get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> that nine months went by so fast, though, mm -hmm. because obviously we're working on our TV show, and it's, and it's 
it just flew on by. And we're going back up, what, in May? In May. May. That's to amazing. do parts three and four. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Because uh, that came out around the same time that you guys wrapped. It was announced that you'd get to a, a proper season two, parts three and four, mm -hmm. which is super cool. What a ride you guys are on right now. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, go back to the beginning then, to that end. Like, when did you realize uh, that, like, it clicked and people got it? Like, there's such a fandom around it. There's, there's cosplay. There's fan art. There's fan fiction. There's all kinds of stuff. When did you realize, oh, man, this thing that we love doing, people love watching it just as much? When did that click? Well, the funny thing with Netflix is that I feel like because everything comes out at once, a lot of people watch the show right away, but then it kind of felt like just more people started catching on as time uh, it passed. Like, I, I kid you not, the past, like, like, the past month, not because of the promotions, just because of the previous episodes, have I've had more people come up to me in the past right. month than when it first came out because I think more and more people can just kind of catch on to it because it's not this traditional platform where episode a week kind of thing. And, and you know, social media is like such a crazy reflection of how it's being received as well. And like, I mean, all these guys like kind of had some bit of work before I kind of came in as, you know, a newbie. And like, I mean, I had, like 1,100 followers in the very start on Instagram, which was just like, you know, just like a ravaged guy. And then it blew up to like an insane amount of people, which was just like, whoa, people are watching the show. And like, the, like look at, yeah. there's a number. What went through one your of the, head? One of oh, the, go oh, ahead. Oh, sorry, really quickly. Yeah, one no, of the, throw it in. Oh, for me, when I realized the show was really special, was actually a few weeks into filming. It's before I ever even came out. Because honestly, we all share such chemistry, and the stories that were coming in were so good. And um, yeah, from from really, really early on, I remember coming home with Jazz, because we had a lot of scenes together, and we would just sit on our balcony and just be like, whoa, this is really something special. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. And we were really well, excited to share it with the world. And yeah. like the sets, for me, was kind of what did it. Because I just you, you just don't know what it's going to look like before. Like you have the script, and you have your idea of what that's going to look like in your head. And then going and being on set, and like seeing this elaborate world that they built and like the Spellman house is huge and so detailed and I was just like, oh wow. There's, there's a lot within there that I want to unpack. I wanted to talk to you about the sets because I, I got a chance I watched a show on the biggest screen I can find in like the fullest res because it is a gorgeous show. I want to get into that. But the thing that really intrigues me is talk, you guys are obviously really close and having a good time and really good friends. And you're saying that happened really early on. You guys clicked right away as a group. Uh, it, it just kind of all happened magically. What, what Did you guys go on any like fun outings? Did you do anything to bond? Was it all organic? What's the craziest thing you've all ended up doing together? One thing we were just talking about backstage oh actually was was I, the second time we hung out with Gavin, we all, for whatever reason, ended up in my room um, and spontaneously created music for about five hours and just sat there jamming, just on, on songs that we were creating in the moment. Um, and obviously music's very fond, uh, we're all very fond of music and it was it was a great way. On, Kiernan was actually working. I was there, I was working. She's the Whatever. workhorse of the show. Whatever. She works Whatever. all the time. Kiernan works but. so much. But I do work a lot. She works But so that much. was a, one of the really early on, one of the greater memories that we share. Yeah, man. And then it's magical. I would say by the end of shooting, obviously everyone's so close at that point. Um, and I had my birthday mm -hmm. up there, and that was a fun night. That was so we've fun. Had a, we had a couple like fun actual parties. We had a we had a game. We've had several game nights, like uh -huh. sh running uh -huh. charades level, high stakes. And high we also have we some could, very competitive, competitive high castmates. Very competitive. So like when we're playing we're charades, all actors playing yeah. charades, yeah. it's horribly intense. It's like at the intense. Olympic level of charades. It's intense. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Um, what? Where's the music that you guys all created? Is it's it just lost? The is it really? Or yeah. memos? I've got no. I'm serious. I've got like an hour long recording of this one gem. We we were just singing it. It goes like Show I them can more. hardly breathe without, without you by my side. And we just created that on the spot. <laughs> 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 but it on the But. <laughs> The voice memo is like an hour long. Sample me in later. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put you in a harmony somewhere. Yeah. Karen, how many times have you had to sit through that story? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. It's all good. I take no offense. Yeah. Wait. She's the reason this show is oh, what it is, though, you know? Because if we didn't have a Sabrina that was willing to put everything into it, and the, and the many, many, many long nights and you know 14-hour days that she endured night also, after night after night, we wouldn't have this show. And just like attitude wise, like you're, you're number one 
trickles down into the entire experience, cast, crew, everybody, and Kiernan's just always so consistent and so lovely and so hardworking and just sets a tone of like, if she's working that hard and has a great attitude, like there's no room for complaining, which, which I think just creates like a really kind, respectful work environment. And I definitely think Kiernan has a lot to do with that. Yeah, I, I mean. It helps that they're awesome too. Yeah, no, of, of yeah. course. And you, <laughs> it's a big old saying. love fest in <laughs> like, here. If you guys were the worst, that would not be fun, yeah. but you guys are the best, so it's great. <laughs> it's all kind of worked out for the yeah, better. Yeah, totally. In, in a good way. Yeah. Um, and I know this is like, this may be like an uncomfortable thing to talk about with you sitting right here, but it's true, you're, well, no, just like how, <laughs> just like saying like, oh, you're amazing and the show wouldn't exist without you. That Some people can be like, that can be uncomfortable for them to hear like compliments and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But the truth is, it's called Sabrina. You play Sabrina. There you are in the middle of the poster. When you got, when, and I bring that up and I say that because when you got the role, were you nervous about that? Was there a lot of pressure? Were you like, what am I going to do? I have to, I have to be Sabrina. It's funny. I kind of wasn't, to be quite honest. The, I, 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 I got the, I, I found out about the project and auditioned for the project twice and booked it within a week. Oh. Um, needless to say, my life completely uh, flipped over on its head very, very, very quickly. Uh, and then I had a lot of time to work on it, but for some reason, I kind of just didn't want to pr give myself any of that outside pressure energy vibe. I, I, I kind of just wanted to focus on making my Sabrina the Sabrina that I wanted her to be and, and, and doing the best I could. And instead of sort of putting unnecessary pressure on myself to live up to some kind of expectation, I just wanted to make it the best that I knew I could do it. And, and that was, I think it's sort of like a subconscious thing, but for some reason I never did. And it's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm all the better for it, I think. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Uh, you know, talking about uh, all those expectations and all these amazing fans and stuff like that, going in uh, to part two, I said it in the intro, I'll say it again, you guys are not ready. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> Thank what you. Are you. What are you guys, I, I, we don't want to spoil anything, but what are you really excited about? There's so many amazing developments. Uh, there's a love, tri more than a triangle, really. I don't know what shape to assign it. A but pentagon, you, if uh, you will. I, yeah. I believe so. Yes. <laughs> a lot of love. A pentagon. A lot of love. A lot of love. <laughs> I was talking to, to some of my coworkers downstairs, the, the Luper Carey. The Lupercalia. 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 Oh, man. I don't want to just say that. <laughs> oh, man. That episode. What did oh, you, man. It's so sexy. You, so sexy. <laughs> I mean, and like, it comes out of nowhere. Like, the show is sexy, but like, the next, that episode happens no. and it kind of changes mm -hmm. your whole perception of mm -hmm. this world and universe. When you guys got that script, what the hell were you thinking? Like, Yo. What the, Gavin and I read that together. Yeah, when it first we came were like in. playing other characters. Yeah, and I was playing Sabrina and he was playing Nick. Lucy. Yeah, yeah, that no, that was, was awesome. that was really a huge episode to see. I mean, especially like the my character's involvement was. A well, lot it was a massive episode one. for your character. I, yeah, I feel like in so many ways that yeah, is man. like it, not the introductory, but I mean, in so many ways, yeah, it's no. a really like the first episode where you really get to know your. You character get to peel way. back some of those layers yeah. of the onion of who Nick is, and it was just so fun. Like as an actor, to be able to continue to dive yeah. into this character, it was just like. I, I it was like a, the best gift, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing that's so great about part two is we get more. Uh, we get to peel back that onion, so to speak. Yeah. We get to watch uh, jazz. You, you're working through the cunning and like what those powers mean. You're processing quite a bit after part one. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> Going Poor through a Harvey. lot. Harvey. Harvey goes through it, man. Harvey goes he's just rough, the man. He's he's the little mortal in a magic rough. world, man. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty, he's a little mortal in a magic world. That's like, it. That's everyone it. around him just every day turns into a new person with a power. It's just like. I think he's handling it quite well, it if you might say so myself. Yeah, you're, he's doing a good job. Yeah. He's doing all right. And then, of course, uh, just following Sabrina down this path, uh, uh, the darkness and, and all the temptations and things. And it's it's a it's a really exciting part of, of this season. And, it, and like we were saying, it looks like you guys had a lot of fun playing that. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a moment in particular that stands out for you, maybe one that, you're, that you recall finally, that you're really excited for people to see that you can talk about without spoiling anything? Uh, well, <gasps> that's well, no. Okay, moving no, 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 on. No, 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 no. <laughs> there is. Well, it has been said before, so we can say it. It's 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 not really a spoiler. There is a musical number. There's not a musical episode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she likes yes. the idea. Do not wait. <laughs> Woo! One person's excited. Um, Sweet. There's a musical number. Not you a musical episode, right, but I a promise. musical number. That is mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I think the second to last episode is oh, also yeah. just yeah. in everything. It, Think root vegetable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? Think parsnip. That was wild, you I was oh, cold. Was, yeah, that I was, was so that's cold. a weird sign. That, that was a good clue, Kiernan. Yeah. Really fun little Think root vegetable. Think root vegetable. Mm -hmm. 
Got it. All right, and that's what yeah. we'll do for another two days. We're all gonna think. Freezing in the out. forest. <laughs> <laughs> Slimy, too. <laughs> With um, you know, I was yeah. just thinking. You talk about there being a musical number, and uh, the choice in that trailer for music was really cool. And, and just in general, music plays a big role in the show. How come the stuff that you guys worked on hasn't found its way? Onto the you screen. know, it's coming, we, isn't it? We, I've actually, I've had a, a many conversations with Roberto, our creator, mm -hmm. about doing music for the show, or maybe introducing some of my music with my band, The Driver Era, on the show. Um, and really, all, all, all that's going to take is is a good fit and a good song that matches the show's tone. Um, and believe it or not, actually, Jazz and I have written a song that wasn't initially for Sabrina, but became kind of a Sabrina song, and I gave it to Roberto, and he really likes it, and he wanted to put it in an episode, but I didn't think it was the right tone. Anyways, we're I working don't know towards that. that goal, and I think it's... Is it's that song on your phone? Yeah. How loud would they have to get for you to play a portion of that song right Bro, now? Bro, it's so good. I witnessed this song, <laughs> like, come to life. Like, they were jamming, and I was just like... We're tiptoeing down this path, <laughs> and we're almost at the point of no so return. Good. Is there some legal it, reason we can't? I'll put can't? it on the internet or something. Okay. I think, I think Technically, we're on the internet right now. <laughs> we are on the... <laughs> There's Damn. a lot of cameras. <laughs> no. <laughs> Obviously, the first time you want people to hear sound any good for my phone. You're not even a tease? And then I'll stop. Why don't you just Let's see it? if I have it. Yeah. Let's see if you have it. Somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we, let's make some noise to fill in the silence <laughs> while he... <laughs> I'll play you the opening just like... That's oh. all. Just a tease. It's just, it's like really stupid. Can you hear it? <laughs> That's all you get. That's all you get. Oh, it's kind of sick, on. though. It's kind of sick. I, I haven't listened to it in a while, and I was like, oh, that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> but it's made to be spooky. I like put some like wind sound yeah. in the back to get like Sabrina tone. You know, oh, you've got to put the dark. thing up. You got to cool. let people hear it. That's I know. amazing. I know. Um, thank you for doing that. Yeah, of course, I was a real man. jerk about it, but I had to. I, it's all good. It's all <laughs> I good. appreciate it. No, well, the music's uh, meant to be shared. You know, as is the as is the show and everything like that. That's what we do. Um, there's something I wanted to ask you guys about, uh, and again, without spoiling anything, but Susie has a great uh, arc this uh, this part, and we get uh, like her journey as a character. Uh, uh, again, without spoiling anything, is is an awesome story to tell, and that's something this show has done. It it, t it tells great stories, even with all the witches and warlocks and the magic happening. It tells stories about real people, and it shows real experiences and real human drama. How is it? It's got to be exciting to be a part of a show that's not afraid to do that, right? To just talk about real people and real stories. How's that? feel when you when you see sure, something like man. that i mean i i think the show is just like really fun at first too you know like that's that's what we're in this really magical world where like anything is really possible but yeah when you have something at the foundation of the show which you know there are deeper messages and like you know empathy and acceptance and non-judgment and open hearts and open minds like that's really important and to be doing something that's not just I hate to say like mindless entertainment, but like to do something that has some some heart to it and some some meat to it, I think is really important. I'm proud to be a part of it. Yeah. And I feel like I've learned from some of the things that we address on the show. And like Susie's whole character story has made me grow as a person in regards to like trans people and trans friendships and like how to navigate that space because it was something I didn't really know much about. And so being on a show and and Lachlan is so precious with with their work and really, really wanted to take care to make sure that it was a story that was told well um, and right. And I, I think they did a really good job of that. So it's been honestly a really great learning experience for me. Um, did you, okay, we're gonna we're gonna turn it over in just one second, uh, but we uh, we mentioned it very early on uh, the talking about the the sets and the epicness yeah. of the the physical environment that you guys get to be in. Uh, there are also some moments that are super creepy that you get to be in, like little bugs, crawling spiders, things of that nature. What do you have a moment that you almost couldn't do it? Uh, what's that moment <laughs> where you, I see you, man? You are vibrating uh, out of what? your chair, but you know <laughs> what I mean. Like you walk in and they go, "You're going to do this today," and you go, like, "Am I?" Like, <laughs> what? Oh, am I? <laughs> um, no, but they always seem to throw Harvey in the dirt too. That's what's so funny. <laughs> we like, go around in the dirt a yeah, lot yeah, in yeah. this next one. Yeah, the witches get to get the cast spells. Yeah, and we're distance, like, oh. but they throw the mortals right in there. Uh -huh. Just get in yeah. there, you know. Yeah. But there was absolutely a scene where. You know the cameras were behind my back, and I was I was in the I was immersed in the world, 
I don't want to give too much away, um, but I got a glimpse of what was to come and get me. <laughs> and uh, That was so nebulous. At, that was at, great. At the time, at the time, immersed in the world, yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Just chills up and down my body. It was, it was wild. It was cool, though, to be so immersed in the world. You know, that's, that's what acting's all about. Yeah. Well, have you there was this one scene where I was wearing these contact lenses. And there was a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to spoil much, but I was not on the ground. <laughs> and <laughs> was not standing on anything whatsoever. And... Um, and just like the intensity of the moment, I couldn't see a thing in these contacts either. And I, I just like completely, there are several moments in some of these later episodes that I, I completely just blacked out. Wow. Like because it was so intense and that kind of after I'm like, oh, was that decent? Was that, I mean, Mind do you, you, do you, do she, everything you need, you got it? She got blacked out with like five pages of dialogue that yeah, she no, executed seriously, probably like, perfectly. Little, 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 um, but but like some sometimes the intensity just really gets so intense that you just I don't know I just forget everything it, 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 I forget myself yeah. and in the moment 100 percent and that's kind of a fun feeling. Yeah. That's kind of what you got to do right if you're doing the job right you do preparation you get everything ready and then you get super and then you just forget it all and then live in the moment. Yeah, and it's, it all a, it's a balance both. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, I honestly, you guys are awesome. I could talk to you for another hour and a half, but I want to make sure I leave time for all of our fan questions because we got a bunch. We're going to take a couple from Twitter and then we'll go to the room. The first one comes from at uh, Amar a lot, uh, Amar Deep Riyat. Uh, at Build Series NYC, will there be any plans for a Riverdale crossover? I mean, I am down. I've always said that I'm down. I, I, I'm into it. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see how the writers would make that collaboration mm -hmm. um, because I think all the writers are really talented and it, I, I would be super down. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And just like it, melding the magical elements into like a different kind of world, I think it would be a really interesting thing for sure. Also just geographically, it's a town over. Come on guys. Yeah. I also mean, like a lot of stuff is happening in both those towns <laughs> very separately. Never so. wander down the street. <laughs> I mean, uh, seriously. Nobody getting a newspaper and just seeing like what's going right. on over there? I mean, <laughs> come on. Oh I say God. newspaper yeah. because it feels like that's how people would get news in the town. <laughs> it's like, timeless. Yeah. It's just, timeless. Just one episode where Harvey goes to Riverdale and realizes it's even worse over there and comes right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was a great question. Thank you. The next one from at Abby R5. What is something hey. that you learned? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is something that you learned about each other? What is something that we learned oh, we're about, about each other? We're constantly What's learning about each other, learned? I think. We teach each other a lot, actually, yeah. uh, through this experience. Um, we're all we're all very into being consciously um, developing, developing, and, and being present. Um, and we we're always checking each other mm -hmm. and really trying to stay Check on top presence. of that. Check your presence. I'm here. Uh, here? I'm here. Check it. Wait, what's for lunch? <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> but what's something? What's something you think we've learned from each other? I mean, so much. I don't even know so how you much. can sum that up. So much. Yeah. I think. I think really something that I really enjoy about being so close is and having so much time because we're all kind of gypsies in our own way, just that's the nature of what we do, but like you really get to see everybody through different seasons, and like that interaction of being with the same people through different seasons like teaches you a lot by nature. I learned that it's possible to work like, a, like nonstop, which I thought was inhuman, but seeing Kiernan do it, I was <laughs> like, she is up in the morning, and she's like, uh, you know, she's home at that hour, and then a couple hours later, she's back at it doing it again. And when Lupa Kaylee came around, I was like, this is a lot. I also like learned that about myself. I didn't know I could do that either. <laughs> like, full disclosure, I was completely just like, let's see if this works. <laughs> you know? Every day, still alive, good, awesome. Let's keep going. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Uh, Kate, how many we got in the room? We go, oh, thank you to our, our fans on Twitter. Those are great questions. We've got three more we're going to do from the room in here. First one is coming from, I believe, you have a microphone. Let's go for it. Talk into it. Let's see what happens. What's up? Hey. Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah. You got Take this. Your time. You Take got your time. Damn it. What's oh. your name? Marie. Marie? Marie. 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 Hi, Marie. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's going Hi. on? Um, I was going to ask, like, there's a lot of, like, dark scenes or whatever, like, crazy, creepy stuff. Like, what do you guys do offset to, like, calm down and stuff? 
there's so much positive energy between all of us. Like, like we're constantly creating and being silly offset. So it, it really does counteract like a lot of that. You know, the show is dark, like you said, for sure. It's got darker elements. And I think if it wasn't so lovely, like backstage, and if we weren't, you know, I mean, there's like a guitar always, thanks to you, or, you know, or, or the Karen's got a great one, too. Like, I mean, they're, they're constantly around. You know, we're, we're doing whatever we can to just, like, ride this lovely, positive wave that we're all on. Yeah. And sometimes prosthetics can be quite funny. <laughs> like, you never know what's going to pop out, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, uh, some of the like stuff that tra translates that's really scary onto TV is kind of funny in real life. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to say quite Elmo. Honest. You're gonna say I'm just going to say Elmo. Oh, yeah, that was funny. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I, yeah. Kieran knows what I'm oh talking about. Oh, my God, about. I don't want to talk about Where it. Do, we oh, don't yeah, need yeah. to go there, but, yeah, but you, can look you know, it up. Elmo. So if you're playing bingo at home, it's Root Vegetable and Elmo. Yeah. No, Elmo season one. Elmo season one, okay. Elmo season one. Um, the exorcism. The Apophis. Oh. Elmo? I wasn't part of Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you after. OK. <laughs> um, thank you for your question. That was awesome. Thanks, thank Marie. you so much. Thanks, Marie. I got time for a few more. The next one's going to come from who's got the microphone next. There you are. Go for it. Hi. I'm a big fan. Love you guys. You're all beautiful. Thanks. Uh, my, qu <laughs> my question is about uh, the show has such a unique style, kind of like gothic and retro. And from clothing to the set, what have you guys in, taken any of the clothes or props from set? <laughs> I've taken props. I've taken. Um, you were real quick on that. What I've you, taken props. <laughs> um, no, well, the attention to detail is so amazing in the show, and it's kind of a sad prop. But when um, at season one, when it was Tommy's funeral, they had uh, brochures um, for for Tommy, and so like I took stuff like. Like I took one of those, and I'll take little like pins and things like that. But for the most part, I, I leave it to just be on set, especially wardrobe. I mean, I'm in that stuff five days a week, so it's it's nice to not be in it occasionally. I just really want that jacket. <laughs> it's a That's good it. looking jacket. That's all I want, mm -hmm. and then I'm good. At the end of the show, I want to take the locket. Yeah, you I should definitely take the locket. Take the locket. At the yeah. end. I always take my character's necklaces, so oh, I want to okay. do that. Yeah. That's a good idea. You guys, have you taken anything from <laughs> that, anything that you want Are to admit? Are afraid to confess no. right now? Is that what's happening? Yeah. I haven't taken a single thing. No, I definitely, I definitely have it. And like, you know, I, I definitely do want some of the wardrobe pieces that come through because they're, I mean, Angus is a knockout. He dresses us so well. Um, but no, I wouldn't dare to. This is my first big job. <laughs> I'm not trying to get good fired man. yet, man. They're what? Netflix is watching right now. I know like, they mm -hmm. are. All right, good, <laughs> good. Right and you that contract extension is good. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, I did take a bra once. <laughs> That's sentimental or out of necessity? It was just a good bra, jam? and they had like 16. I was like, can I have They're this? They're not going to give this bra to anyone else. Know well, what I mean? I mean, it's your bra. No. Right. Yeah. yeah, so that's the truth. <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome. All right, we've got, we got one more. Come on down. Hi. Hey. Hi. So one of my favorite episodes from the original was when Britney Spears comes in. So if you guys could bring one icon into an episode of the show, who would you pick? Mm. Uh, nice. Jeff Goldblum. Great call. Ringo Starr. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be wild. That'd be so cool. I kind of want to bring, like, somebody that would not. Oh, uh, Cardi B. There you go. There you go. I want to see what Cardi B does in the witch world, for sure. For sure. I don't know if we're so. talking, like, icon, like, world, but, like, my Your choice. My mom. I just oh. Love my mom. Even if she's, like, in the back or something. Like, I just want her to be on. That's the cutest. That'd be sick. Yeah. The boy who didn't it. steal wants his mom to come to set. I see. I'm a really good boy. I see. You're really set. playing this up. You <laughs> see the halo, guys? <laughs> That's a really sweet answer, actually. That's Thanks, pretty man. awesome. Okay. Um, hey, thank you so much for all of your questions, guys. This was an absolute blast. we got to wrap things up. I will remind the world that uh, part two, I'm telling you, you're not ready. April 5th on Netflix. You knew that, though, right? Uh, <laughs> it's happening. Make sure, set aside some time, get ready to watch all of this madness. These people worked very hard and had a lot of fun, and you're going to have a lot of fun watching. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, pff, nothing left to do but make a ridiculous amount of noise. Everybody, come on. Gavin Leatherwood, Jason Claire Roslich, and Kieran Shipka right here. Make it, let's do it up. Come on.